When a narcissist knows you have discovered them, this is how bad things can be. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you insights to help you navigate through your daily life. Today's topic is on pathologically narcissistic individuals and understanding their diagnostic criteria. It is essential to comprehend the diagnostic criteria of narcissists, even though only a little. Those individuals usually fall under three personality disorders. Borderline, antisocial, and narcissistic personality disorders. The lack of comprehension, the inability to empathize, and the inability to stop the suffering they inflict others due to their lack of empathy are the commonalities among all three diseases. People with personality disorders usually struggle to change their behavior because they exhibit rigid thought and behavior patterns. They are unfortunately not the best candidates for psychotherapy because it necessitates self-awareness of having a problem, which can generate cognitive dissonance and uncomfortable emotions like discomfort, worry, guilt, or grief. People with personality disorders usually believe that how they treat others is acceptable because they frequently perceive themselves as victims, which excuses how they treat the victims of their actions. Moreover, when creating boundaries with pathologically narcissistic people, it is important to anticipate that they might not understand the necessity of your boundaries. Instead, they may take it personally and feel insulted or enraged, justifying their reaction based on distorted and irrational thought patterns. Therefore, it is essential to be prepared for the potential harm they can cause, creating boundaries that protect oneself from further abuse. If you are a human magnet syndrome, you'll find that codependent often subconsciously fall for pathological narcissists and vice versa, making it difficult to set boundaries. Suppose you find yourself in a relationship where you have been hesitant to establish a boundary, especially with a covert narcissist. In that case, you may likely experience hurt at their hands. In some cases, this could translate into subtle emotional and verbal abuse, or in more severe cases, overt physical abuse. It is important to understand that not every person with personality disorders exhibits abusive behavior towards others. For codependents who do establish boundaries, it is essential to have predictive awareness. Predictive awareness is the ability to anticipate the possible reactions from a partner who is a pathologically narcissistic individual. By recognizing your own vulnerabilities and susceptibility to manipulation, as well as studying the trigger points and abusive tendencies of the narcissistic partner, you can predict the outcome before taking action. When you have predictive awareness and know that the narcissist will suffer a narcissistic injury, which can cause an extreme reaction, establishing a boundary becomes less daunting. It is crucial to approach the situation with the utmost caution, taking into account all possible outcomes to protect yourself from further harm. It is equally crucial to consider those pathological narcissists fear abandonment and struggle to survive outside of a relationship, despite their lack of expression. To avoid being left alone, they will go to great lengths, and even the idea of being alone can trigger excruciating pain that is much more intense than it is for codependents. This is due to the nature of their personality disorder, oblivious to the root cause of their fear, which is often childhood abandonment. Now, suppose you are planning to set boundaries with a narcissist, such as initiating a divorce. In that case, it's worth considering that they will do whatever possible to change your decision. Regardless of the relationship type, be it a partner, spouse, boss, sibling, or any other form, if they lack empathy and demonstrate limited empathy, Don't Take the Mask Off the Covert Narcissists is a video that is especially relevant. In extreme situations, it may be best for your own safety to simply walk away. Covert narcissists are individuals who pretend to be something they are not, whether it be a teacher, rabbi, psychotherapist, loving parent, or any other persona they choose to adopt. Generally, these persons exhibit signs of sociopathy, covert narcissism, or may have ASPD. They depend on maintaining a false persona that relies on having people believe their fabricated stories of being loving, caring, sincere, and intelligent. This charade is vital for them to function in society, as it helps them maintain relationships, find work, and have a believable backstory. Exposing their true nature would be equivalent to suffocating them, as it threatens to take away everything they love and need, including attention, support, money, respect, and family. As a result, they will go to great lengths to protect and preserve their image.
Therefore, it is crucial to recognize that the person with whom you are setting boundaries may exhibit sociopathic tendencies, or even be a sociopath who has accumulated a considerable amount of wealth through deceitful and malicious means. Rest assured that they will do everything in their power to safeguard their wealth and reputation. Suppose someone threatens to expose a covert narcissist by spreading lies about cheating, stealing, or committing other criminal acts. In that case, it will cause a narcissistic injury, triggering their underlying fear of abandonment and further infuriating them. They will do everything in their power to silence and discredit their accuser while striving to maintain their status, wealth, and prestige. Consequently, trying to expose them publicly makes no sense if your objective is to end the relationship. If you are already aware of these tendencies, either from my book, The Human Magnet Syndrome, or from attending one of my seminars at selfloverecovery.com, then you understand that calling out a covert narcissist is not the solution and may even pose a threat to your survival. Using my worst-case scenario technique enables you to anticipate possible consequences and determine if you can withstand them. Once you decide you can survive, you can proceed with confidence. Let's say you have decided to set a boundary with a covert narcissist, and this involves ending the relationship or getting a divorce. Being aware of the potential negative consequences, your best bet for a successful escape is to avoid exposing their malicious and dishonest behavior. Making this choice increases your chances of success from virtually impossible to be possible. This could involve seeking help from a qualified therapist or attorney, depending on your situation. With a clear plan and the determination to endure potential difficulties, you can protect yourself by carefully navigating the process. If you are in a relationship with a pathological narcissist, with sociopathic tendencies, or who is a sociopath, it's essential to be cautious. Whether your goal is to set boundaries or end the relationship, revealing their true nature will result in severe consequences and leave you feeling regretful. The best option is to exit the situation without exposing them, avoiding any unnecessary negative outcomes. Think of it as strategic surrender and don't view it as a loss. In conclusion, if you find yourself in a relationship with a covert narcissist, it's essential to understand that exposing their behavior may lead to negative consequences. With predictive awareness and a solid plan, you can successfully set boundaries or exit the relationship without risking harm to yourself. Remember to seek help, whether from a therapist or attorney, as needed, and stay determined in the face of potential difficulties. And most importantly, prioritize your own safety and well-being. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. So, everyone, discovering that someone you know is a narcissist can be an eye-opening experience. The realization that their charm and charisma may have been nothing more than a facade can be unsettling and disorienting. You start to wonder how you miss the signs. Was it their constant need for attention and admiration? Or their tendency to put their needs above everything else, including your own? Whatever it was that ultimately led to your discovery, the truth is that the narcissist's behavior can have devastating consequences. At first, you might be in denial. You may feel like you want to give them the benefit of the doubt or that maybe you are misreading their behavior. But as you start to pay closer attention, you begin to see a pattern of manipulation and emotional abuse. The narcissist may use your own vulnerabilities against you or play games to keep you off balance. Their behavior can be unpredictable and erratic, leaving you constantly on edge and unsure of what to expect next. One of the most insidious things about narcissists is how adept they are at gaslighting. Gaslighting is a form of psychological abuse in which the abuser makes you doubt your own sanity and perception. They might deny things that happened or make you feel like you are overreacting to their behavior. Gaslighting can be incredibly damaging and it can make it difficult for you to trust your own perceptions and instincts. Another hallmark of narcissistic behavior is a lack of empathy. Narcissists may seem charming and engaging on the surface but behind closed doors, they may be callous and cruel, they may not take responsibility for their actions, and they may blame others for their problems. This lack of empathy can make it incredibly difficult to have a healthy and fulfilling relationship with a narcissist. 
So if you find yourself in a relationship with a narcissist, it's important to seek help immediately. There are therapies and counselors who specialize in working with survivors of narcissistic abuse and they can help you navigate the complex emotions and trauma that come with this type of abuse. It is also important to establish healthy boundaries and to prioritize your own well-being. This may mean ending the relationship or limiting contact with the narcissist altogether. If you are interested to know more, please check the description box below because I have free stuff for you that you can try out and read anytime you want it. So in some cases, the narcissist may also try to smear you to smear your reputation or turn others against you. They may use lies or half-truths to make you look bad or to cast doubt on your character. This can be incredibly stressful and damaging of course, but it is important to remember that you are not alone in this. There are resources available to help you protect yourself and to navigate the aftermath of a relationship with a narcissist. Once again, you can check the link in the description box below. In the end, discovering a narcissist for what they are can be a painful but ultimately freeing experience. It can help you understand why the relationship was so difficult and to begin the process of healing and moving on immediately. While this journey might be challenging, it is important to remember that you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness. With time and support, you can recover from the damage that narcissistic abuse can cause and move forward to a brighter and more fulfilling future. Well, I think this is everything I can say in today's video, guys. Please remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I hope you find this video informative. Share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this and until next time, have a nice day, everyone.